Oh, there you are. Welcome to A Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. Beautiful weekend in New York. Sunshine, 74 degrees, 80% chance of hope thanks to the vaccine. And I'll catch you up on all the good news in tonight's The Vaccine. I just fa- no, no need to have a definite ending to any of these. 2021 has seen huge progress on COVID. President Biden's stated goal was for 70% of adults to receive at least one dose by July 4th. And if we don't make that goal, he's just going to mass vaccinate with the M80 Big Bang Blaster Bodies. As of Saturday, nearly 60% of adults in America had received at least one dose. And according to the latest Axios Ipsos... Little Debbie's Swiss Rolls poll. (laughs) 75% of respondents said they either had gotten the vaccine or were likely to get it. Well, that restores my faith in my fellow Americans. Given the choice, only a quarter of the population has chosen plague. According to the poll, people are feeling better emotionally, possibly because 59% of Americans visited friends in the last week, which is the highest of the pandemic. Finally, Americans are seeing friends again instead of binging friends again. We can see our friends' faces again because last week the CDC announced that fully vaccinated people don't need to wear masks in most cases. That is most cases. Remember, you still have to wear a mask if you're traveling by plane, by bus, or by scuba. (laughs) Now remember, these rules are for vaccinated people only, which sounds great until you realize the CDC made this announcement without any good way to confirm who has been vaccinated. So the CDC is relying on unvaccinated Americans to be honest with each other, which is never going to happen. As one psychologist put it, many will lie. Many are lying, have been lying, adding, I always lie. And the previous statement was true, causing all of the robots heads to explode. But if you're vaccinated, you don't need to worry about your lying unvaccinated neighbors. As CDC Director Rochelle Walensky explained. If you are vaccinated, we are saying you are safe, you can take off your mask, and you are not at risk of severe disease or hospitalization from COVID-19. If you are not vaccinated, you are not safe. Please go get vaccinated or continue to wear your mask. What we are really asking the American people to do is to, to be honest with themselves and to not remove their masks until they are safe. Okay. The only thing Americans need to stay safe is to be honest with themselves. We are doomed. Do you know what the serving size of Oreos is? It's not sleeve. And pumping cheese is not exercise. With things starting to get back to normal, I was struck by this headline. Hugs are coming back. Not everyone is thrilled. For instance, everyone who works for Governor Cuomo. (laughs) This article follows people who never liked physical contact. I'm sure the rest of us will be fine better than fine. In fact, after 14 months, I'm looking forward to hugs. This is... A Late Show's moment of human contact. Ew! Cooties! Welcome to The Late Show's moment of human contact. I am now going to hug my stage manager, Mark. Mark, do you mind? Is this okay? Bring it in here. Okay. There you go, buddy. There you go. Do you think there was going to be a joke? <laughs> you. We love each other. There you go. What do we do now? Do we exchange insurance information? I'm not sure. I haven't done. Never, never mind. Okay. Well, it's another day in America, which means it's a bad day for Florida Congressman Matt Gates, seen here challenging his hair to a staring contest. I'll catch you up in our recurring segment, Gatesgate. Don't worry, babe. You'll make varsity next year. (laughs) Congressman Gates is being investigated by the feds for alleged sex trafficking and having sex with a minor. And it looks like his so-called wingman is getting ready to sing, man. I'm talking about former Florida tax collector and guy telling you a disturbing story about how he met his wife. Joel Greenberg 
Greenberg is a longtime buddy of Gates, and he's already in federal custody for sex trafficking and other crimes. Well, today he officially pleaded guilty and agreed to cooperate with prosecutors. Uh-oh, Gates is screwed. And this time he doesn't have to Venmo anyone because his old buddy Greenberg has now publicly admitted to paying women for commercial sex acts for himself and other men. Commercial sex acts makes it sound like they were sponsors. <laughs> and nothing kills the mood like being in mid-action and having to stop for this Cokefield orgy brought to you by ZipRecruiter, the number one resource for hiring talent other than sliding into their DMs. Now, we don't know what this means for Matt Gates yet, but he could be charged any minute. Just ask this actual plane banner someone flew over the courthouse today, reading, TikTok Matt Gates," which is ironic since TikTok is where he finds most of his dates. But it's not just Greenberg's guilty plea that spells bad news for Gates. We just learned that reportedly, at a 2019 fundraiser, Gates snorted cocaine and had sex with an escort who was paid with campaign money. So don't worry, donors. You didn't flush your money down the drain. Gates placed it on the dresser. Witnesses say the escort prepared lines of cocaine on the bathroom counter, which is kind of strange. Because if you want a large, smooth surface, you can't do better than Matt Gates's forehead. <laughs> As for the escort herself, she and Gates weren't exactly going steady. Said one source, she was just one of the many pieces of arm candy he had. That candy? High school junior mints. Gates, for his part, doesn't seem to get what all the fuss is about on Saturday. He told a crowd of Republican activists, I'm being falsely accused of exchanging money for naughty favors. Naughty favors? Spoken like a man who doesn't really grasp the severity of having sex with a minor. That's like Jeffrey Dahmer calling his cannibalism a oops and nibble. <laughs> Gates then explained that he's not the one doing the money for bad stuff, saying Congress has reinstituted a process that legalizes the corrupt act of exchanging money for favors through earmarks, and everybody knows that's the corruption. Does everyone know that, Matt? Your date might not, depending on how she's doing in social studies. Okay, enough Gatesgate. Let's turn to a completely different story. Gatesgate! Yo, Bill, here you're single now. You should come to my party at Claire's. We recently learned that Bill Gates and his wife Melinda are filing for divorce. This may have huge impacts on their joint philanthropic venture, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, but I want to reassure you that there will be no impact on my charitable organization, the Stephen and Melinda Gates Foundation. Please continue to give generously. We are just months away from finding a cause. We just learned that long before their split, Bill Gates had a reputation for questionable behavior. Yeah, we all remember the Zune. But there are some troubling details, including that on at least a few occasions, Gates pursued women who worked for him at Microsoft and at their foundation. That is bold to pursue an affair at an office literally named after your marriage. Baby, don't even think about Melinda. Or look at the exterior of the building, or the stationery, or our website, or your W-2. Or Melinda, who's also in this meeting. Here's an example. In 2006, Gates attended an employee presentation, left the meeting, and immediately emailed the woman to ask her out to dinner, saying, if this makes you uncomfortable, pretend it never happened. Of course, pretend it never happened was also the motto for Windows Vista. <laughs> now, that behavior is sketchy, but it's not shocking. After all, one look at him and you know this man is an untamable sex machine. But like the majority of troubled marriages, the number one source of conflict was hanging out with Jeffrey Epstein because we're now learning that Gates met Epstein dozens of times starting in 2011 and continuing through 2014. That's after Epstein's sex crimes were known to the public, although maybe Gates didn't know anything about Epstein because he looked him up on Bing. Even more disturbing, sources say Epstein gave Bill Gates advice on how to end a toxic marriage. Of course, the most foolproof advice to end any marriage, spend time with me, Jeffrey Epstein. This just in. Is this just in? Because it says this just in. It's true. I have an update. We have an update. Just in on the most important story gripping the nation. I'm talking about Tiger on the Loose. In case you missed it. 
Here's what happened. Last week, a tiger was spotted wandering around a residential neighborhood in Texas until a mystery man came to retrieve the big cat. End of story, right? Wrong. Because we then found out that guy was Victor Hugo Cuevas, a murder suspect out on bond who was then rearrested for having the tiger, but the tiger's whereabouts were still not known. And you know things are messed up when the most understandable part of a news story are the words murder suspect. Then things got weirder in the story, which I remind you is not taking place in Florida. <laughs> After being arrested, Cuevas insisted that he was not the tiger's owner. Smart, never buy a tiger, always lease. Those things start depreciating the minute they walk off the lot and maul a Cub Scout troop. <laughs> but there is good news, because this weekend, the missing tiger was turned into authorities. Which brings us to Tiger on the Loose! Tiger Found Edition. <laughs> Turns out the alleged murderer slash tiger smuggler was maybe not the most honest guy, because he knew all along where it was. He left the tiger with his wife, Gia. Okay, that's a good wife. She took a vow, till death do you part, which may be very soon if your husband asks you to hide his tiger. Now, if you're concerned that a bloodthirsty apex predator was lurking around a suburban neighborhood, don't. According to police, the tiger was passed around a little bit, but ultimately, Gia knew where the tiger was at all times. That is reassuring. Hey, I know your intestines are kind of scattered around the room right now, but don't worry. Gia knows where the tiger is at all times. Right now, he's noshing on your feet. Oh, we've got a great show for you tonight. My guests are Cindy McCain and Pose star MJ Rodriguez. But when we come back, the kids are fighting, and they're using a word I don't understand. Stick around.